very exciting because we are catching up with the pigs. They've got some new music out and something about this, this is their first full original album hillbilly synthesizer and we're pleased to say that t-bone pig joins us right now t-bone you guys must be you're always excited but you must be pretty excited in an album full of your originals oh of course good day first folks how are you going yeah we, we've traditionally we've, we've done about sort of on each of our albums we've, we've done about half originals and half our interpretations of other people's songs or songs we can improve with the use of banjo but this time we decided to do uh, an all originals album, which is something we've been wanting to do for a long time. It's great. We were number one last week in the independent charts, so it must be working. Are we talking individually written or you've all joined together and co-written? Uh, there's a couple of co-writes on the album. My brother Stretch has written probably the majority of it. And when he writes, he, he writes on his own generally in the toilet. Good thinking, Grace. Yeah. Is it because he, he doesn't play well with others? Yeah, oh yeah, he's very moody and he smells a lot. <laughs> well, that's a good place for him to be then. Yes, exactly. <laughs> now, it must be a, a big buzz too for the pigs to uh, get out with a whole bunch of new music for the fans to see. And I know you're going to be here in South East Queensland later on in the year at the Black Bear Lodge yes. in May. So the yes. fans can come out and see the pigs in action. Yes, they can, and we'll, we'll be doing some of our hits off our new album, but also our greatest hits. So, uh, yeah, it'll be a bit of a mixed bag. Now, t Bam, we were having a look at the film clip earlier, and oh, clearly it was done out at the Denny Ute Muster. How many yeah. times have you guys been out there? I think we've been out there about three or four times now over the years. First time we were there, it was in 2007. That's dating it a bit now, isn't it? We're talking a, a fair while ago. Well, it seems like yesterday to me, Big D... And of course, if you were out at the Denny Ute Muster when these guys were playing around and getting this one together, you might actually find yourself on that video because the, mo the footage was done out there. It was a brilliant way to do it. And I love the way that the guys get out there and they sing your lines. Yeah, that's great. Well, we, yeah, we had that, that idea because um, everybody at uh, the Denny Ute Muster um, sort of looks a bit like us. They've all got blue singlets on and jeans. And we thought it'd be a great idea to get them out and, and to get them to pretend to be us pigs. So we, we armed them with our instruments and showed them the words and away they went. Plenty of hillbilly synthesizer in the background there too. You can hear that going very nicely as well. So good work yeah. to the pigs. Now, if people want to follow uh, the pigs, know where they're up to, get on the mailing list and everything like that, I imagine the Facebook, the social media is the best places to go. Yeah, our Facebook or our website, thepigs.com.au. There you go, folks. You'll be able to keep up to date with when the pigs are coming to a town near you. And this is their brand new single. It's called Hillbilly Synthesizer. T-Bone, great to catch up. We look forward to doing it again soon. Thanks again, Tracy and Big D. All the best to you, folks. Sizer.